Welcome to Picture Healer channel. This is Shi Tian. In today's video, we want to talk about feng shui design for office desk. Whether you work from an office cubicle or you have a home office, we can all benefit from a little feng shui enhancement. Here are five simple tips you can apply after watching this video. The first two tips are related to the classical feng shui animals. The first one is to make sure you have good view in front of you when you sit down in front of your desk and behind you, you have solid support such as a wall or a tall bookshelf or a cabinet. A desk is like a small house and the same feng shui principle applies to an office desk. That means in front of you, it's the phoenix and we want a good and open view indicating your bright future and all the possibilities. The back side is represented by the animal turtle. That means you should be like a mountain, very solid and tall for support. So avoid when you sitting down and your back is a corridor or a hallway when people walk by easily. So you have no privacy in that case. If you cannot change the layout of your office desk, you can still have some beautiful views with painting or photography of beautiful scenery or landscaping. And behind you, if there's no way to be a solid wall, you can place some type of screen or tall cabinet or bookcase to support you and give you more privacy. The second tip is about balancing your left dragon and the right tiger. If you know the basic of the feng shui, you know the left side of the house is the dragon side and representing the yang energy. And the right side is the tiger side and representing the yin energy. We can say the left side is the male energy and the right side is the female energy. And the same thing applies to your desk. When you sit down in front of your desk, your left hand side of the desk is your dragon side and the right side is the tiger side. So depending on your industry or the career type, you might want to enhance the left side or the right side. If you have a lot of female clients, you might want to enhance your tiger side. So the way to enhance your energy on a certain side is to make sure you have bigger and taller furniture on that side and also keep that space open and not cramped or right against a wall. And you can place all the energy enhancers such as crystals or special statue on that side for enhancement too. Traditionally, the dragon side should be taller and more open and the tiger side is a little bit lower and uh, smaller but that's just a general rule. The point is to balance the left side and the right side so they complement each other and uh, help your career to grow. The third tip is to place energy enhancers. They can be natural crystals, gemstones, jade, or any precious or semi-precious stones. And it can also be lighting because the bright light can bring in more positive energy. It can be incense or essential oils. Each of them have certain functions. If you are interested, you can research more. There's a lot of information online about different scent and their functions. And the popular feng shui decorations, including the pi shou or the qi lin. Pi shou is more generally for money and wealth, luck, and qi lin is more specifically for career advancement and for protection from negative people. 
or you can place statue or images of the horse or dragon because they are symbol of success with their high spirit. Tip number four is to place your guardian, your amulet, or vision board. We try to set up a little spiritual altar with items that's meaningful to you, and it can be religious or non-religious. The goal is to have some spiritual support and also give you some vision for focusing on your goals. The popular career-related guardian or religious god or protector include Guan Gong, the red-faced warrior. If you have a business that's related to physical activity or competition, like a sports industry, or you can just place money god for wealth luck. Different culture and religion will have different god or guardians related to your career, so you can place what's meaningful to you in your area. And if you are not religious, you can always have a vision board or some items to remind you of your goals and dreams for your career. Maybe it's an image of your hero or inspirational quotes. The fifth tip is to let the qi flow. And to make sure the qi circulate properly, you can re-examine your furniture placement. If possible, rearrange it to make the qi flow better. And usually you notice the windows and the door and the passage you walk in and the walk out of space. If you cannot rearrange your furniture, at least you can add live plants or fresh flowers, such as lucky bamboos or cut flowers to add the lively chi. Many people like to add a small fish tank because water is related to money luck in feng shui. And another one that's easier than fish tank is a water fountain. There are a lot of small water fountains available. You still have the flowing water without worrying about fish dying. And one thing we really need to take control is all the paper files. Any cluttered space cannot have good energy, so we need to organize our files and find a system to clear our old files or put them in storage. It's easy to say just to clean up, but it takes ongoing maintenance. If you can take time to keep your place clean, your energy is already better than most of the people. So the feng shui can be very simple. It's basically improving your space by examining what you have right now. And uh, you can first rearrange any furniture or accessories. And second, clear out any outdated stuff. So it fits your current lifestyle. And the third, bring in your new vision your dreams, your goals, and keep focus on what you want to achieve in your life. And I think that's basically how feng shui works. Thank you for watching this video, and please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next week.